Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Abhimanyu for the Mac Observer. In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install iOS 11 public beta on your phone. Let's get right into it. So before you begin or do anything else, the first thing you want to do is plug your phone into your computer, your Mac or your PC and make sure you have a backup of your device. To do this, all you need to do is plug your phone into your Mac or PC, then go ahead and open iTunes and go on and click on the device so that you can see your iPhone. Now ensure that you have encrypted iPhone backups on. This will make sure that if you ever need to restore from the backup, everything, all the data that you have on your phone comes back. Make sure you remember that encrypted password. Then go ahead and click on backup now. Depending on how long ago you did your last backup, this backup should complete um, within a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up for you. All right, once your backup's complete, you want to go into the iTunes menu and click on Preferences. Inside Preferences, you want to go to Devices and make sure that the latest backup of your iPhone or your iOS device has been archived. So this here is my latest backup and all I'm going to do is hit the Archive button. What this makes sure is that this copy doesn't get overwritten with any other backups that you would be doing. Just hit OK and your work on your computer is now complete. Let's go over to the iPhone and see what you need to do next. Alright, at this point everything you need to do would be right here on your iPhone. So what you want to do is go to Safari and open beta.apple.com. This here is the site which will actually allow you to install the official public beta certificate from Apple uh, so that you can install the betas on your phone. Let's go ahead and scroll down and you want to go ahead and sign in. You want to enter your Apple ID and password and just hit sign in. Now make sure you've selected iOS right here and then you scroll down to the section where it says get started in here you have this little link here that says enroll your iOS device. You want to go ahead and click on that link. Now when you do that, it's actually giving you instructions on what you should be doing. Archive an iOS backup, which we already did. And the next step is to download the profile. You want to hit the prof download profile button. And you want to select iPhone because you're doing this on an iPhone. Now you want to go ahead and say install. It's going to ask you for your passcode. You want to enter this in. You want to go ahead and click on install once again and then hit install once again. Once it does that, it's going to ask you to restart your phone. You go ahead and restart and it's going to go ahead and reboot. Now once the phone reboots, all you want to do is go ahead and enter your passcode once again. Once the phone's rebooted, you want to go to settings, you want to scroll down and go to general and then you want to hit software update. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and look for the update and there you go. It just came back with iOS 11 public beta. It's a 2.02 gig public beta. You want to just go ahead and install by clicking on download and install. It's going to ask you for your passcode again. Go ahead and hit done. And it's requested the update. It's going to go ahead and start to download it and install it. Again, I'm going to speed this up for you. And once it comes back, we we'll continue. Now, while this is going on, one of the things that I wanted to make sure I said in this video is that remember that this is a public beta. The software will not be as stable as the regular iOS software. So if you're doing this, I recommend use a secondary device that's not your daily driver because this particular software would be unstable. Developers wouldn't have updated their apps yet to support uh, the betas. So you want to make sure that you're not jeopardizing a device 
that you use on a daily basis to do your work. Now let's wait and go through this install and see what we come out with at the end of it. So here we are at the lock screen of the iOS 11 public beta. Go ahead and follow all of these prompts. Um, enter your password. It's going to go through and do all of the initial setup and everything. The entire process took about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's a pretty long time. Uh, you just want to back up your device, start the process, and then go have a cup of coffee, come back while this gets installed. We're just going to wait a little bit for this to finish. Alright, so all the prompts are now hopefully over, right here. There you go, you're inside iOS 11. I can see that a couple of my apps it says are on the cloud or something and still need to get downloaded. Uh, the feedback icon is right there. There's the new files icon. So there you go. So that was a quick look on how to install iOS 11 public beta on your iOS device. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe so you can see more videos about what all is new in iOS 11. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.